Cigarette butts. Now, there's something we don't see much of anymore, huh? Is that a good thing? Yeah, a lot of people feel that way, except the smoker. He's ticked off. Well, let's go back. Let's go back. You're all old enough to remember. Go back 15 years ago. 15 years ago, you'd walk in a room like this, be full of what? Smoke, but no more, because most people have quit. Just out of curiosity, how many of you here, how many folks here have quit smoking in your lifetime? How many of you quit? That's a lot of people. Look at all that. Congratulations, everybody. That's fantastic. And I quit, too. And you know why we all quit? You know why? Because there's nowhere to smoke anymore! You can't light up a cigarette now. People go, my God, what are you doing? Put that out. There's a child here. Where is there a child? Five miles over that way a child lives. Holy crap, when do we become so overprotective of all these little annoying kids? Because nobody gave a crap about any of us when we were kids. You betcha, cigarettes, they gave you a starter kit. Have a chocolate cigarette, have a bubblegum cigarette. Come on, come back in 10 years, we'll give you a real cigarette. Nobody can. Nobody cared about you, they threw you in a smoke-filled room in a broken crib with nothing to eat but paint chips and Play-Doh. Play-Doh, they still make Play-Doh. I said to my friend, did you ever eat Play-Doh? He says, no, it's too salty. Listen. What's with all these kids? They're all allergic to crap now, right? I saw a parent last week jump on a peanut like it was a grenade. Go! Folks, folks, we are raising a generation of wussy, pansy, little baby kids. Am I right? What's going to happen when they grow up? What are they going to tell their kids? They go, Father, Father, what did you do when you were a boy? Why, sometimes we sat in the back of the Prius, snake peanut butter right out of the jar. <laughs> peanut butter, you could have been killed, you rebel. Come on, folks. What's happening in America today? Ladies, what happened to men in this country? My God, man used to walk into a diner for a cup of coffee, throw his money down, go, give me a cup of Joe. Now he's in Starbucks going, give me the latte and a scone. Uh, <laughs> disgusting, disgusting. I love working in this casino because people get dressed up. You come out, it's beautiful at night. People get dressed up, you don't see that anymore. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful thing. Get out there in the real world. Nobody cares what they look like anymore. Nobody cares. That's why the circus doesn't come to town anymore. It doesn't have to. <laughs> Isn't it? I mean, really, you want to go, you want to, you want to see the bearded lady, the tattooed baby, the world's fattest man? Go to Walmart. They're all there. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I saw something so rare today, I took a picture. I never saw, I said, I never haven't seen that in years. I saw a child playing outside. They never let them out anymore unless they have like a, a space helmet on, enough padding to play the Super Bowl, 37 pounds of sunscreen. It's unbelievable. What happened, man? You were kids when you grew up. Remember being a kid? We were like dogs. Your parents go, you want to go out? They open the door, we're gone. We were gone. They never saw you again until it got dark. You were scratching at the door for food. Remember being a kid, summertime, we fell out of trees, we fell out of cars, we broke our arms, we broke our legs. We went back to school every September in bandages and crutches. We looked like that revolutionary wall poster. <laughs> it's unbelievable, man. And you can't bully a kid anymore. What kind of nonsense is that? Come on, I went to Catholic school. School bully was on the payroll, for God's sake. That's right, they were called nuns, baby. beat the crap out of us and they made us better people. I don't know, man. Things have changed. There was a time in this country when you were kids, when you were a kid in America, you could walk into a candy store, a little convenience store. There was no videotape. There was no photo ID. There was no nothing. There was a guy or a woman and all you had to walk in and say was, my mother sent me. And they'd sell you any crap you wanted. You could buy cartons of cigarettes for your mother, booze for your father, dirty magazines for your uncle, ammunition for your neighbor. Nobody cared. send you home. If that happened today, that guy would go to jail for the rest of his life. Your family would be in custody. You'd be in a foster home. The whole thing would be on Nancy Grace going, do you know what they did to this poor child? 